I coded your ideas in Minecraft and it got weird. Let me show you what I mean. Beth Larson says you should make mob bodies. <laughs> what? <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh no! <laughs> this is a lot better than I thought it'd be. I really don't know why anybody would want this, but I suddenly agree with it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, before we continue, um, this is a body. Um, you can't get rid of it. It just, it, <laughs> it's kind of satisfying. As grim as it is. <laughs> I know that I took down this creeper. Calm down there, big guy. I gotta know. Does this work? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh. Oh, well, that. Well, that's just disappointing. Uh, I, I, this is a this is a really different uh, version of Minecraft. Mob spawners. Um. They. Uh. What have I done? And why am I Steve? What? It seems kind of unnecessary, but. Um, I am curious. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the squid already died. Uh, oh, wait. It's the wither. What? Why is he all the way over here? <laughs> what? <laughs> I still can't get over this. I thought the squid was alive. But no, no, it's, uh... <laughs> Twin Bricks Production says, How about bigger boats made of other blocks? <gasps> Diamond blocks. All right, well, I'm honestly surprised that we haven't seen a diamond boat sooner, or just any boat for that matter. I mean, imagine the possibilities. It could be faster, maybe it has some sort of benefit, I don't know, but... Oh. Well, yeah, yeah that seems about right. I don't know what you expected. Um, the, the boat just kind of sinks. Uh, <laughs> it's heavy. Oh. Wait, a normal boat. Oh, what a ripoff! I mean, I understand, you know, maybe you want to flex, but I just... <laughs> it's just... Uh, uh, yeah, no comment. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you expect them to. Farming Villager says, Allow me to put wool back on a sheep that I accidentally sheared. Hmm, be careful what you wish for. I think it's best if I just don't say anything and <laughs> we just let this speak for itself. But of course, I mean, we're gonna need more than just a couple of blocks of wool. All right, my friend, let's give this a shot, shall we? Um, so we can place the wool back on. Um, <laughs> and we can, we can just kind of continue. Um, <laughs> yeah. And now it's <laughs> the legs. Oh my gosh. It's just kind of a moving block of wool, really. Um, and we can trim them back down, you know. Hi, how are you? Now, what I don't know is if you can... Oh, okay. All right, well, uh, I can't... I don't know if it's grow... It's... It's... <laughs> it's definitely growing. It's the big blue blob of... Uh, <laughs> why am I Steve? Honestly, I just feel bad at this point. <laughs> it's, it's just, just kind of absurd. Um, but you know what? I love it. I think this is a great feature. Minecraft needs more Easter eggs. This is a good... How many pieces of wool did I use? Goodness. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. Derek says, Aether Portal, that's it. Okay. And there you have it, an Aether Portal. It, it, do it doesn't really go anywhere, but it's... <laughs> Chug Chug with you says, see what happens when you name a villager Jeb. Hmm. <sighs> It was bound to happen sooner or later. We've got to name the villager Jeb. I mean, we've done almost every other mob, so why not? And now all we need is one villager. <gasps> all right, my friend, I hope you're ready. <gasps> this is the nose. I forgot about the nose. No. No, this is not good. Go away. This is not. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with this. I don't like this. No, stay away. You know, I've been smacking villagers around. I wonder where the iron golem is. Real Gold Chris says, how about injecting potion effects into totems? For example, if you die, you get the effect. Ooh. You know, that really is an interesting idea. 
Oh, hey, watch it. I mean, after all, the totem of undying is incredibly handy. Wait, how, how did I? Oh, oh. I mean, after all, there are a lot of circumstances where no matter what, even if you have a totem of undying, you'll still, well, die. And it's pretty annoying. The answer is simple. What if we could combine totems with basically any potion in Minecraft? This is going to be interesting. Okay, so I've got a totem of regeneration, and in this case, maybe I'm getting overwhelmed and there's a lot happening around me. Not only can I make my escape because of the totem of undying, the regeneration just kind of helps me out a little bit. <sighs> no matter what though, I, I'm still too bad at this game, so uh, moving on. Now, based on our example earlier, I don't know if this is actually going to work, but with a totem of levitation, I'm curious if we can actually avoid the death of, of the of the void no but in theory it's it's a good idea of course maybe a totem of healing could be even better in this case this totem has instant health so hopefully as soon as i die i'll get an automatic boost to my health come on creeper do your thing oh look at that instantly half a health bar okay hold the phone i do think that we should not be able to stack the effects because that could be bad but in this case you could see we could have positive effects negative effects all kinds of things this is a really cool idea oh hey what's that over there oh it's a comment asking how i edit my videos perfect timing because this video is sponsored by wondershare filmora 10 an easy to use editing software that is perfect for you whether you're a professional or just getting started it features drag and drop presets for effects filters transitions and even a bunch of royalty free music making it really easy to edit videos filmora just released their latest version 10.5 which added a new add-on called ai portrait along with new features like auto reframe ar stickers a new integration with filmstock for easy access to their effects library and audio effects which makes it easier than ever to add audio effects to your video footage. It's as simple as dragging the effect onto the video footage. Whoa, how's that for cave sounds? Filmora makes it easier than ever to start creating content. So what are you waiting for? Try Wondershare Filmora 10 for free by downloading it using the link in the description below. Or if you want to take your videos one step further, Filmora is running a back to school promotion where they're offering 42% off. Not to mention, you could get a chance to win an iPad Pro if you join the hashtag Wondershare back to school campaign on their website. All of the information you need is in the description below. And with that said, thank you to Wondershare Filmora 10 10 for sponsoring this video. Ian Jossick says, Shulkers can drop shulker pearls when killed by players used for potions of levitation. Shulker bullets are actually incredibly interesting, and I've never thought of a way that we could actually use them. But what if they actually did drop whenever you break them? Or at least have a chance. Okay, this. Okay, alright. I'm gonna act like that went better than it actually did. Well, would you look at that? We successfully got ourselves a shulker. Pearl. Now, what exactly can we do with this? Well, obviously, we could use it to brew ourselves a potion of levitation. But honestly, I'm not sure why you would want this. Uh, somebody stop me! No, 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 for real, please. Some somebody stop! But wait a minute. What if it could actually be used for more? This is a dispenser, and this is a bunch of shulker shells. Now, I haven't actually tested how this works, but in theory, this should allow us to shoot our own shulker bullets. How interesting is that? Okay, let's see if this actually does come in handy. Um, hopefully, this will target the creeper. <laughs> Why me again? No! <laughs> no, no, no! Woo! That was close. I don't know. I feel like with the right moves, this could be very interesting. I mean, it is sort of an interesting idea to be able to shoot our own shulker shells. I am the shulker. Oh, it went right past me. <laughs> oh, if only this cape actually, you know, helped. Ver, 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 ver. Verkonvinsky says new blocks for detailed roofs, so something like roof tiles. That's an interesting one because we actually have that exact feature on Origin Realms. By now, it is no secret that Origin Realms is my passion project. It's where we've added a bunch of new features like zebras, overhauls to biomes, and a bunch of new blocks. And of course, one of those blocks is terracotta shingles. They look amazing, they are incredibly useful, and I wish they were in Minecraft. 
I just thought I'd show you. So if you want to play with them for yourself and build something cool, you could join today using the IP in the description below. The Chosen One says, how about a map to locate a stronghold? Hmm, I think I know how that could work. Okay, so this is kind of a useless feature um, in Ender Map that has been added to the in-city loot that locates a stronghold. Uh, which, as you may know, in order to get here, you had to already kind of find a stronghold. <laughs> so, it's cool looking, but, uh, okay, honestly, I, I tried to just make something useless, but one of my developers really went above and beyond with this, so I felt bad. I wanted to show it. It's cool. I, I really don't even know how it works, but, um, uh, oh, wait, okay, I think, I think I'm going, I think this way, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I guess this could kind of be cool. I mean, after a while, you don't want to have to keep finding different stronghold using ender pearls. So, I, maybe? Okay, hang on. Uh, I, I'm close. Something's happening. Something's happening. It's rotating. What? Oh, it's purple now. Oh, wait. Have I found a stronghold? Come on. Come on. I believe. I'm getting close. Wait. Whoa. No. Wait. What? Well, that's just unfair, really. Dina says, staffs that are crafted by bamboo and iron. They have a longer reach, but less damage than iron. Bamboo, oh. is, bamboo is really cool. And I think that there aren't enough reasons to use it. So let's fix that. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a couple of items. I'm sure we could craft something cool. Isn't that right, my friend? All right, so if we take a bamboo and another bamboo and combine it, with a lead, we get a bamboo pole. How interesting. Let's see what this does. I've got to say, I'm looking pretty stylish. And it's not just because of my cape. No, no. It's because of this awesome bamboo pole. First and foremost, we can't have an awesome bamboo pole and not allow it to get us into harder to reach areas. That's right. I can use it to actually launch myself off the ground while taking a little bit of fall damage. How cool is that? I think. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, not every single item or weapon in the game should be for becoming the strongest you can. In this case, it's just great to travel with. It makes it a lot easier to traverse the landscape. And especially now that we're getting caves and cliffs in the next update, this could be incredibly handy. Another use is that it actually gives us a slight advantage because we can actually use it a little bit further away than most, oh God, most weapons. And we can hit a little bit faster with it. Oh! Ah! <coughs> Oh, how scary. So there you have it, a bamboo pole. I mean, how cool is that? I think it's pretty, it's pretty cool. What can I say? Hello, I was sick for the last week. I'm sorry, but thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, I picked out two videos just for you that I think you are going to enjoy. But first, thank you to Wondershare Filmora10 for sponsoring this video. That said, look at these. If you click to the left, you can see how I coded Enderman differently in Minecraft. And if you click to the right, you can see the previous installment of I Coded Your Ideas in Minecraft. Both are great videos. I think you'll enjoy them. And with that said, have a wonderful day. <sighs> Thanks for watching.